Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, Black. Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, and fucking Black. Wait, fella. You were a commando before. But right now, I need a butcher. You feel up to it? Some rotten meat. Rotten dogs, to be precise. Not just killing. I want outright butchery. Thomas Black orchestrated the Red Treaty. He's responsible for the death of my old man. And more besides. But he didn't do it alone. He's got himself plenty of muscle about, of course, but not so many brains. There are three lieutenants who helped mastermind the whole thing. John Lockheed, Enforcer Sinclair, and Peter the Fence. I want them all dead. More than dead. I want a fury on them. I want them turned into bloody sigils that spell out Black's doom. But I warn you, this is dirty work, and once you get started, there'll be a price on your head. Syndicate enforcers will start crawling the city for you, so don't you come back till the job's fully finished. Black is mine. You worry about this lot for now. Winston, Anthony and Johnny each have a lead on getting access to your targets. Speak to them to get started. And listen, these are proper public executions. I want you wearing your vagabond finest for these. Understand? We're sending a message here. Cross the vagabonds and fury awaits. If you hang round, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. So, you want to hear about how to kill that little fucker Lockheed? Head of security for the Syndicate. He's an evil bastard. No two ways about it. No stranger to any form of atrocity. He's done me some personal harm and all. Ain't no one I'd like to see suffer more than him. But he's a little guy, really. He ain't shit without his goons about him. Get him alone, and he can be stuck like a pig. Lockheed has a mistress he goes see down Millwall. Young bink called Meg. Well, young Meg has got herself hooked on some bad chems lately. And if she don't do what she's told, she ain't gonna get her next dope delivery. So, all you gotta do is go down to the house, get the place secure, then I'll come along and we'll put Lockheed through his misery. Hang about. You ain't doing shit, Winston. This is a dangerous mission, and I'm not having you go into enemy territory. So what? You're not the only one after revenge. I got my rights. That shithead killed my family, and I'll be damned if I don't have my own fury on him. And I want it proper old school, too. I want every drop of blood from him. Easy now. You know my old man put a stop to that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, Gabriel's dead now, isn't he? You watch your fucking tongue or I'll have it out. I gave an order. You will obey it. No questions. And no backchat like that unless you want to meet your wife again. Puh. <laughs> you get all that, Wayfarer? Now on to your next target. Bullet tooth? Yes, boss. All right, sunshine. Let's talk Sinclair. More like what? The woman's a monster. Sinclair heads the Owen Enforcer Division for the Syndicate. Punishments, chain gangs, child slaves, and worse. Ain't no one gonna be sad seeing the back of her. Least of all me. As charming as Tunnel Cough. She's based in a metalworks factory up north. I made some connections. Finally found someone that hates her more than they fears her. Go around the back of the factory, speak to a girl named Lexi. She'll let you in. There'll be some guards, and word is Sinclair has a big dog or something there. But not much security otherwise. Most workers are slaves. They'll run the first chance they get. Sinclair herself ain't to be trifled with. Try to get the jump on her, or things might get ugly. 
Once you've done with her, choke the body in the furnace. She don't deserve a trace of her left. Hold up. I thought I told you I want the bodies out on display. But she's a monster, boss. I don't want to see her martyred. She should be erased and forgotten. And I say her bloody corpse should be strung up for all to see. Black should get the message that we're the ones to be feared now. That ain't right to me, boss. I'm not keeping you for your fucking ethical consideration, Anthony. Just do what I say. As you say, boss. Too right. Now, finally, Johnny. Watcha? So, you wanna hear about Peter the Fence? He runs a supplier network for the Syndicate. He's a proper smart fella, with a ledger full of all the important contacts in London. All Isle of Dogs would fall apart without him, I reckon. Peter used to work with us back in day, before Black bought him out and he stabbed us in the bloody back. Took all our bleeding suppliers with him too. Peter regularly meets with some gentry contacts at a Westminster joint called the Enid. It's a fancy place. And Peter has his own back room for private dealings. Well, I pulled a favor with the staff to get you in. Just so long as you have no weapons on you. What do you mean? How's our butcher here going to do their work without weapons? Well, thing is, I've been thinking, and Peter ain't a bad sort, really. Maybe we could just scare him off, like. Send the muscle here to take his ledger and spook him out of town. Scare his contacts off, too. We'll do just as much damage to the Syndicate. Have you gone soft in the shrapnel, Johnny? Peter is the enemy. No matter what sort he is, I want him dead. But we used to be mates like. He ain't no killer like the others. He's got a bit greedy, that's all. You're a weak piece of shit, Johnny. Listen, Wayfarer. Just get into this joint whatever way you can and snuff the fucking lot. I want you to bring back that ledger covered in blood. You here? But he... No more lip from anyone. You got your orders. Get your business. If I had it my way, you wouldn't dare show... Who is it? Oh, yeah. You look right. Come in. Who is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's just the dealer, sweetie. Fucking chems again. Just hurry it up. Right, I'm out. Just don't make too much mess. And tell Chill he fucking owes me. Hey, I'm standing here, mate. Be of respect, yeah? I'm not treading all over you, am I? What the fuck? Who are you? Wait, hold up. Please don't hurt me. I'll make a deal. You can have whatever you want. What a sniveling little cunt you are, Lockheed. Who's that? Winston? Oh, fuck. What a bleeding pleasure it is to see you too. I don't care what Gorn says, I'm owed this. This snivelling cunt stain took everything from me. Gorn ain't the only one that wants bloody revenge. You listening, Lockheed? After the years of pain you've caused me, it's time to settle the fucking score. Please, no! Just kill me! I've heard the shit you vagabonds do. Just kill me now! Shut it, you twat. You don't know shit about what's coming your way. You fucking serious? You are, aren't you? You boot-looking little shit. Fine. I'm going. But I won't forget this. <laughs> Please. Just make this quick. Lots to dig through if you want to find any valuables. We won't fall to the likes of the dogs. Or anyone else. Ah. Did your mum teach you better? No point leaving anything behind. What are you after? Hey, <laughs> you ain't dressed like I was told. Where's your funny hat? Huh. Fine, whatever. This way, and keep your gob down. In here. 
Quiet like. That monster Sinclair is upstairs with her pet. Be fucking careful or she'll feed you to it. I'll let you through this door and then I'm fucking out of here. Our little rat has followed the bait. Now it's time to play. You're trapped in the maze now, ratty. And I'm going to watch you scurry Who? about. Willie! You hear something? Come oh, no. here, you shifty little <laughs> shit! You hear something? What the? You look like you could use a drink. The two Westminster chairmen's got you covered. Welcome to the alien. Are you a member? Ah, I see. A mutual acquaintance did indeed inform me that someone of your, uh, attire would be arriving. But, uh, I was quite assured you would not be bearing any weapons in this establishment. I must insist you remove them before entering. <laughs> of course, of course. Please do head in right away. You'll find your uh, acquaintance in room four at the back. Make it quick, will you? I'm on my tea break. Excuse me. We're having a private meeting here. How rude. A friend of yours, Peter? No. At least I don't think so. What do you want? Well, fuck that. Finally some peace. Get over here! Rabble, rabble, rabble. public like servant. It? Dies in until next time. The butcher is back. Job's all done, I hope. Good. Where's Nelson? 
He'll have his ear to the ground on what folks are saying. Nelson. Sebastian? Old man, I asked you to keep an ear out about Black's lieutenants. What's the word? Well, interesting stuff afoot, to be sure. John Lockheed's been killed over in Millwall. A hit job is the word on things. And a man in vagabond gear was seen hanging around the area that night. Good. Just what I like to hear. Enforcer Sinclair is an interesting case. Her and a bunch of goons and some crazy animal have been laid out cold in a factory over Newham Way. Folks are saying it was a gang attack that must have taken a dozen men. Heh. <laughs> Not bad, me old China. Not bad at all. And last but not least is Peter the Fence. News is he was killed in his own private room down some swanky Westminster club. I hear tell a vagabond waltzed in, cool as ice, snuffed him, then grabbed his ledger off the bloody corpse. Amazing. Just what I was after. Here, hand that ledger over. Good work. People will remember this. Fantastic work, Butcher. This has maybe been the greatest operation in the last ten years. Now people will know not to fuck with the vagabonds, and Black will have it written loud and clear that his number is up. Let him cower for a while. I'm coming for him. You're dismissed for now. Get some well-earned rest. I'll let you know when I need you next. You all right? Winston! Oh, fuck! What a bleeding pleasure it is to see you too. I don't care what Gaunt says, I'm owed this. This snivelling cunt stain took everything from me. Gaunt ain't the only one that wants bloody revenge. You listening, Lockheed? After the years of pain you've caused me, it's time to settle the fucking score. Please, no! Just kill me! I've heard the shit you vagabonds do. Just kill me now. Shut it, you twat. You don't know shit about what's coming your way. You're a good sport, Wayfarer. I'll remember this. Shut the door on the way out, will you? And don't wait up for me back home. Wait, no! Don't leave! Just kill me! Don't leave me with this fucker! You don't know the sick shit he'll do! Oh, careful now. You'll hurt my feelings. I wonder who did this. Now, where shall we start? Some music, perhaps? Ah, classic. Now let's get to business. <laughs> Don't shut your eyes, little piggy. Fine. I guess we'll have to start by removing your eyelids. No! Stop, please! Ha! What a sight for sore eyes. Get it? Hey? Eh? Let's let the bleeding settle before we continue. Wouldn't want you to miss nothing.
do you want? Old Johnny. Damn. And if I don't do what he says? Huh. Like that, is it? Well, I suppose I should be glad of the choice. I thought this day would come sometime. Ain't entirely nice what I did on old Johnny, but business is what it is. And I've had a good run of it. I can't complain about being forced into retirement. Especially with how things have been turning for the Syndicate lately. You're the one, ain't you? There's been talk of some new blood in the Vagabonds fucking things over for the Syndicate. Though you don't look like much. Here, have the ledger. But it won't be no use without a good gabber behind it. Relationships ain't made with bits of paper. And you two. Now that I'm going, fuck you and all you Ponzi gentry twats. I've had enough of sniveling in your shit. Go fuck yourselves. How rude. The commoners really can't change, can they? And after such a respectful business relationship. A shame. And you, vagabond, what do you want? Foolish. Naive. Why on earth would we do that? Oh dear. Indeed. I suppose we'll have to take your suggestion rather seriously. Consider our business with the Isle of Dogs severed. Good day. The butcher is back. Job's all done, I hope. Good. Where's Nelson? He'll have his ear to the ground on what folks are saying. Nelson! Sebastian? Old man, I asked you to keep an ear out about Black's lieutenants. What's the word? Well, interesting stuff afoot, to be sure. John Lockheed's gone entirely missing. But separately, there are reports of a horrible scene in a Millwall flat. Someone torn to absolute pieces. Body in no way identifiable. Let's talk of maybe some crazed chemed doing it. Winston, what the fuck have you done? You sick little shit. Enforcer Sinclair is an interesting case. A bunch of her goons are dead in the factory over Newham, but her body ain't anywhere to be found. There's a rumor going round that some of her slaves fought back and fed her to her pet. True justice, they're calling it. Damn it. This fairy tale shit is not what I fucking wanted. And last but not least is Peter the Fence. News is he's scarpered, fled the city, and with a major chunk of the Syndicate's capital too, by all accounts. Unbe fucking leaverable. Some butcher you've turned out to be. Did you get the ledger at least? Disappointing don't even begin to cover this. What will people think of us now? Course, word on the street don't matter so much as what Black knows. And he knows, I'm sure. He'll see that this were all the Vagabond's work. Might take him some time to regroup his dogs, but when he hits back, he'll hit back hard. We could be talking total annihilation if we ain't ready. Spare me the damned apocalypse talk, Nelson. I'll deal with Black. For now, dismissed. As you will. What the fuck is wrong with you, Wayfarer? Are you terminally insubordinate? I tell you to kill Lockheed, and you let this sick pile of shit over here slice him into fucking human stew. I tell you to kill Sinclair and make it obvious, and you instead listen to Antony's stupid sob story about burning the corpse. And Peter, you let that fucking snake live. Shit like that comes back to bite you. The whole point here was to send a message, and instead you've just caused bloody chaos. And you lot, you utter pack of clowns, egging on the new mug with your personal shite. Are you trying to sabotage the whole damned vagabond cause here? Are you ruining everything I'm trying to achieve? You're a disgrace, the lot of you. I should have you all on the fucking chopping block. Now you, you're dismissed. Get out of my sight, you useless shite. You better shut your damned trap, Wayfarer, because you're in major risk of having it blown off. Now fuck off. Didn't your mum teach you better? 
We won't fall to the likes of the dogs or Look anyone where else. You're going. Oh, wannabe butcher, is it? What do you need? Absolutely. Black is the leader of the biggest gang in London. Only reason the smaller gangs are around is because he likes to let them scrap with each other. But if any become big enough to threaten him, bam, they're gone. I told Sebastian this was all a bad idea. The lad seems happy to chop off his own arm for a chance to give Black a bloody nose. I've managed to hold him back before, but lately... Well, he's gotten bolder, is all I can say. Dangerously so. Crippled? Nah, it'll hurt, no doubt. But Black will bounce back with some new blood. Truth is, Black has always made sure he needs no one but himself. He knows his turf, his people, his operations, and he's got it all wound tight in his fist. Besides, the man's got enough money and guns around him that naught else matters. Good question, young plum. Good question. You want an urgent delivery? Huh? Do you feel that? Hmm. But something more. I feel almost like there's a storm coming. Like something big is about to happen that's going to flip everything over. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this. I'm going to go scout the perimeter. My stories? But it's just me practicing my letters, boss. Bollocks. It's sedition, this. It's making people question orders. That's not the point of it. I'm just trying to tell my story. Use my voice. Then go sing a fucking shanty instead. I respect you, Sid. But I'm not putting up with this sort of nonsense being spread about. What sort of message are you trying to tell people here? Maybe you could do with reading some of it yourself, Gorn. There's some things you could learn too. Shut it. I want this cack gone. If I see any more, I swear I'll burn it. With me? Nah. Open your eyes, young pup. His problem ain't with me. He's a good man, Gorn. But he's been hurt. Hurt bad, like. And wounds like that never stop hurting, really. He don't like to show it, but I can see it in him. But never mind that. Here, have yourself a look at what I wrote lately. Young Gorn don't like it, but maybe he will. I better get a move before I get accused of mutiny or something. 